So for unloading this truck on the plate, you have to first lift up from this position because you see the standing here, it is together with the plate and uh, when you lift up, this standing will be standing on the table, so the head will not go up. If you, at the beginning, if you re move in rear side, the head will go up. So you have to first lift up. After lift up, you see now it's supporting there, then you can move in backward. Like this, the head will not go up. Okay, already on the table. Now you can remove this secure and then start the winch. Let go of the winch to unload it. Okay, then you drive a little move more of the winch. No, more release more. Then you drive a little forward and to take out the hook there. The hook is here, and then you can secure it back because the rope you need to tight. Now you take it back. Okay, like this is enough. So we will leave this away, and we will see the details of this truck. First, you see on top, we got this winch, and uh, this one, you see, very long cylinder. If, you, if I lift up a little bit, you will see all the cylinder from here. This one is the bar inside the cylinder. So the piston, now it is at the rear side of the cylinder. So you see from here to here, it is very long, just to move this plate to backward and to the front. And uh, for these two cylinder you see here, it is for lifting up, so the rear side can touch in the road. Let's move it, you will see. Okay, so I will keep like this position. Then we will see here from the chassis, here is the oil tank, you fill up oil from here. And this one is the ESC for the, for the pump. So under there, that's the pump and the motor. This one is a small receiver, so there is another bigger receiver. Uh, and this four is the servo for the distribution valve. So four channel, yeah, we got one, uh, two channel, this cylinder, and this two cylinder is two channel for this plate lift up and uh, to move rear side and forward side. And another two channel is for this tooling, this one to uh, withdraw and uh, stretch, and uh, also for lift up and down. So two channel together, four channel. And come to see here is the transmission gear box, and with the transfer case. Later down there, we will see this. You see the wires there. That one is the lock. I will move it so you can see. Okay, that's the lock for. Uh, front axle and the rear axle to be turning together or not. And uh, here I will lift up the cabin. You see it is secured by this one. You pull it up. You will see here is the main receiver. So this one already totally with the auxiliary, this one, uh, two receiver together have 15 channel used for this truck. And here under there it is the motor. It is uh, imitating a real engine, so mo the motor and uh, the transmission gearbox together inside this metal <laughs> box inside. Okay, and the front here is a fan for cooling, and this ESC for, for driving, and the sunlight board. Here is the servo for steering. I will move it so you can see. From this side you can see it, the steering. And this servo here, small one inside the engine, it is for the speed changing gear. So low speed, middle speed, high speed. Okay, change back to low speed. And this is it. And also on top there, it is the volume control. You can turn it to adjust the volume. So the speaker, it is at the back side of the cabin. 
Okay, so that's all. We will put this back. Now we will turn it around to see the main chassis. Also in the front, we not see yet. So this mirror, the light, and actually all the cabin, it is pl plastic, not metal yet. But the chassis and the plate, these are all the metal one. So for the side door, this one, from side, actually can open here is one hook. From top, you will see it. Come to see from top. Here, you, with your finger, you pull it, then you can lift up, OK? After lift up, on there, have a hook. So you can remove it. Here is the hook you see to hook on the pin. And this one is the lock. To unlock it, you pull this out, you can unlock it. So let's put back the door. From this view, you will be clearly to see the motor pump, the motor, and the ESC. So all the distribution valve and the servo. OK, hook it back. And push it, it will be locked. OK, now it's locked. And let's turn it around. You will see more. So for this one is imitating the real operation station. So for here, it is only a decoration. <laughs> imitating real one, it is a metal one. Also, so for the rear axle, we got double tire. And uh, let's see the differential lock. I will move it, you will see. Differential lock is here. And now it is unlocked. I will lock it. From this angle, you can see more clearly from the rear side. Lock it, unlock. OK, so here it is uh, driving CVD. And under this one is the uh, oil, oil hose coming from the pump to separate to all the cylinders. And uh, here, this one, and when we turn it, you will see this is another servo. Save the moving. It is for the lock of the transfer case. So it is under there, not clear to see. One minute. Oh, this lock is here. So this is the transfer case after lock. This front axle and the rear axle will be turning together with power. OK, unlock it. This transfer case and this one, you see, got two wires. That's for all the differential lock, for the axle differential locks, this front one and the rear one. Unlock it. OK, so at the front of the transfer case, we got another axle, axle and the CVD driving shaft. So from this position, you will be able to see the suspension with the metal plate, flexible, turn it. This is the connecting road for steering. So both tire is turning together with the same angle. And from this point, from the front, you will see the fan and the transfer, the transmission gearbox and the motor box here more clearly. This is the fan for real car, it is a cooler. Here, it is only a fan. And uh, these are the wires for the light. We will turn it around to the other side. So here, you, you will see this one also have the side door. Same function. Here is the hook. You pull it, then you can open it. Also, after open, it is you can keep the hook. Also, you can remove the hook. What is connected is only the four light wires. These are the wire for the light. So here is the battery chamber. You put the battery here. From now, you can see the hook for, for lock it. You pull it, we will be unlocking. OK, let's hook it up and lock it again. Hook in position. That's how you open, then push. Locked. OK, and if you turn it from this side, you will see the chest is pretty much the same as before. Yeah, so we will not turn it again. So also from this side, I have this operating station, imitating real one. Now we will take it back to go forward. And one more 
to, to be careful about is these wires. These wires is flexible, can be moving because the plate is moving, yeah? So every time you moving this plate to rear side, be careful. This one quite not get stuck anywhere, so not be plugged or pulling broken the wires, yeah? Okay, let's take it back. So the battery wires now, okay, you see if, if the battery wires here on top will be getting stuck, push it down. Okay, so now we see the rear side from here. That's the light, and this one, if you move down, you can see more clearly. So I'll lift up from here, you will see the two cylinder for lift up and down this. Okay, that's the most low position. So every time you put it up, you see, if you see from this angle, at this position, it is already blocking this plate. This plate, now you cannot move back because we are touching. So every time you want to move this plate rear side, first you lower down a little bit this bar, lower it a little bit, then you can move in this one. Yeah. Okay, let's put it back in position. So everything is ready. Finish the job and drive it away. Thank you, this is the, the block removal truck from JDM. Also, you can say it as a rescue car. And uh, for any suggestions, and uh, if you like to put some, you see here, got this, you can put a rope, and uh, how to do the upgrades, you can talk to me, I will talk to factory to make it as you like. So, thank you very much, we will see each other again with more models, bye-bye.